So Skip and I, we first met in college, and I'll be completely honest, I don't recollect any of those memories. <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't tell you, honestly, the day that I met him. Um, it's just, we met, and from there on, we were brothers. Skip, you possess all the qualities uh, that most women are looking for. All right, so, so there's no, no question to me why Nia selected you to spend the rest of her life with. Skip, you're one of the most humble, caring, hardworking, and loyal friends a guy could have ever ask for. <sighs> Love you, man. Hi, everybody. My name is Paige. I am Nia's big sister. First, I'm going to talk about our bond because we have a very, very, very strong bond. Um, first, we connect telepathically. <laughs> We can sing the same part of the song, the same song, hours later. We just come in at the same part. It's actually very weird. Uh, we finish each other's sentences, and we have tons of inside jokes. Pop quiz, nigga. Terrible sandwich, by the way. Pretty in her own way. Everybody's pretty in their own way. <laughs> and my favorite, ding. <laughs> Love beers all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Elaine and Mia, to ask God's blessing on you and to share in your joy. Mia, I give you this ring. Elaine, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. With all my love. With all my love. Near, you're not only my cousin, but also my sister, my confidant, and dear friend. We've navigated through the ups and downs of life together, and I have been fortunate to see you grow into the amazing woman you are today. Your kindness, strength, and unwavering love has always inspired me. We shared countless moments of laughter, secrets, which is our blessed sister's pact, high school parties, clubbing in Atlantic City and Philly, our many 3 a.m. therapy sessions. Now that you found your soulmate and Skip, to get, today I get to witness you embark on this beautiful journey with him. Uh, these two people have been really special in my life uh, for the past I don't know how long I know Skip since what, 10th, 9th grade? Since the day we met each other, it was an impact. It was a special impact on my life. Um, everybody always get us mixed up as brothers. I, Lane, Skip, we walking down the hallway, high school, everybody's like, you know. And then going on from high school, went to college, he was always there. Um, even through my tough times, he was always there. Uh, he'll travel from Penn State all the way up to Yukon. I'm not sure if anybody familiar, that's about what, six to eight hours? Some time ago I got a strange package at my door. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not expecting a package. And when I opened it, um, it was, I'd like you to be my groomsman. I'm like, shh. So I call him like, yo, bro, is this real? He's like, yep. <laughs> I'm like, um, where's this happening? He's like, Jamaica. And I live in Canada. I'm like, close enough. Just a four hour flight. So point I'm making is um, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and bro, like, I trust that you got this. Um, Nia, first time I met you, I'm like, mm. remember we went to Tracks and Records, right? That's the Usain Bolt restaurant. I'm like, yo, we're good. Are we good? Been good. Are, big, are we good? We've been good. We've been good. Here we are, one year later, 
a full rotation around the sun, and I'm more in love with you today than I ever was. As we stand here in front of our family and closest friends, I want to reaffirm you that the head nod I gave you on our second date really was an accident, and I really do think you're pretty dope, just for the record. Uh, our life together has been nothing short of an adventure, new states, new jobs, new food allergies for me, you know, just in case you're not keeping track. Um, you are indeed my person and you would do anything for me and for us. I know moving to North Carolina to start this chapter of our life um, is just one example of that. You are, you are my, my kitchen, kitchen dance partner, partner, my Netflix binge partner, except, except for when you watch an entire, entire season. season of Soups without me. A whole season. Rude. Um, my late night storyteller, even when you really want to go to bed, and my safest space. To describe you in the way that my own father does, you are a king among men. Today, I vow to love and support you, to strive to outlove you every single day, to speak life and power over you, and to constantly remind you that I love you most. Thank you for continuing to do this life with me, Mrs. J. My love, you have taught me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You are the strength that I didn't know I needed and the joy that I didn't know I lack. You have made me. <laughs> Do I have to finish this? Come on. You have made me the happiest man in the world today by agreeing to share your life with me. I promise to continue being your personal chef. Yes, I say personal chef. And masseuse, I do that too. Alright. I promise to continue loving you unconditionally and respect you. I promise to continue caring for you and protecting you. I promise to continue comforting you and encouraging you. I promise to continue loving you for who you are and who you are yet to become. I wrote that. You know that, right? Alright, cool. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. As we continue our journey, I will try to work on my stubbornness and be a little bit more outgoing for you. Lastly, I promise to make it my job to outlove you each day. And last, thank you for doing life with me. I love you. I therefore vested with the power of being a marriage officer in the island of Jamaica, pronounce that you are husband and wife together. Elaine, you may kiss your bride.